Hey Siri, what should everyone do while watching my video? Hit the subscribe button and the bell next to AJ170's name so you never miss a video. <laughs> Hey guys, what is up? This is AJ170, and today guys, I'm going to be explaining to you on why you will never see Photoshop Touch on iOS 11 or any update past iOS 11, including iOS 12, 13, 15, 100, 1000, whatever the iOS version may be if you're watching this 200 years from now. So, anyways, the main reason why is because Photoshop Touch is a 32-bit app, and iOS 11 and everything above that doesn't support 32-bit apps. They only support 64-bit apps and up. And I don't think we have anything above a 64-bit app, but we might inside the future. Who knows? But sadly, Photoshop Touch stopped uh, and dis discontinued a couple of years ago. I don't know the exact timeline. That's just a guess. Before there was any 64-bit apps, it was probably 32-bit only. So they only had the option to render it or export it and that. So that's what they did. And it got removed from the App Store because they wanted to sell apps separately and charge money for each app separately because they'd make more money that way. And that's pretty much what they did. And it still didn't equal up to being as good as the actual Photoshop Touch. That is probably the best photo editor there is on uh, mobile devices. There's one that's kind of close, but it's, you still can't do the same stuff. You still can't make things look as good. So, yeah. So, I mean, you guys could probably try and buy an older device on iOS 10 if you really need Photoshop Touch that badly. Or you can buy an Android because every kind of Android will support Photoshop Touch. You just have to find the APK and download it on Google. Now, you guys might be asking yourself, well, we're on iOS 11 and there's a jailbreak coming out. There could be a jailbreak tweak that enables it. No. 32-bit support has been dropped 100%. That's impossible for to make a for somebody to make a jailbreak tweak that re-adds support for something like that. They would have to edit the framework and everything else that comes inside of the actual update itself, and it would result in you doing your own update to the device, which jailbreaking doesn't do. I mean, you could probably run some uh, some stuff to turn your device into an Android and do it that way, possibly. I've seen some people do that in the past on the iOS 8 and 7 jailbreak to where they turn their device into an Android. You could probably do it that way, but that's pretty much just about it. And one other thing I've gotten asked before is, well, Plus Plus uh, developers can just mod the app and do it. No, they can't. When they do those plus plus tweaks, what they're doing is they're adding code to it. They're not changing the code that's currently in it or anything like that. They're adding stuff to it, which is the, basically when they combine the, the dev file to the app, the dev file gets put inside of a, it gets compiled into a different category and gets put right inside the main folder, the, the very main part of the app. I've had to do it before. So with all that said, you will literally never see Photoshop Touch on any device that's running iOS 11 or above that for later on inside the future. That's sad news, but you guys have to face the facts here. It's not going to happen, and it's not something to where it could be like, oh, we'll just have to wait time. No, it's literally impossible for it to get supported. Um, figured I'd make this video because literally every single one of my videos I'm getting people demanding Photoshop Touch and I can't do that. I mean, I can make another video on how to get an iOS 10, but I already have that video made and it's still up and it still works. There's no reason for me to re-upload a video. I don't do that. That's basically clickbait and it's against what I do. Sorry to hear this for some of you, for those of you that make YouTube videos and need that to make it. Uh, you can get Photoshop on a computer, and you can get it on Android device. I believe I my old my first Android device was seventy dollars, so you could save up and buy that and just make it off of there. But yeah, mm, sorry for the bad news. I guess that's about it for this video, guys. This is AJ170 signing out. See you guys next time.